Today we got a great video for you guys. We are going to be reviewing a dashboard Apple Play unit that I think you guys might really, really like. So let's get to it. Welcome to Dads and Tech Reviews, where we review everyday items that you might find on Amazon and other stores. We review them for you so you don't have to. And we're here to help you work smarter, not harder, not waste your time. So anyhow, let's get to this review to see if it gets the Dad's Den stamp of approval. This is currently selling on Amazon for $198. And it is a portable 9.3 inches dash mount Apple CarPlay with a 4K front and rear 1080p dash cam. I mean, we've got a lot going on here, guys. Here's some of the bullet point items you guys need to know. Okay, it uses wireless Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. Of course, this is a dash mount, so it's gonna be sitting on top of your dash. That's also where the front facing camera is gonna be, by the way. So just be aware of that. Again, 9.3 inches LCD screen. And like I was mentioning, the front facing camera is in 4K, rear facing camera is in 1080p. Comes with a 64 gig micro SD card, so that's kind of nice. And it's gonna utilize Bluetooth audio to send your CarPlay over to your speakers. And they say, I'm looking at it here, it does say it is universal with 99% of cars. Easy installation, okay. And it does come with a warranty. All right, three month warranty. So that's always nice to have the, that warranty, right? Okay, so let's get into some of the pros and cons now. Let's start with the pros. Amazing screen size, 9.3 inches. It is so nice. It's big, it's bright, it's, it's there. And it's really easy to see to use the touch options. It's so, it is nice. It's a nice to have that big screen. Not quite as big as like those Tesla ones that look like an entire like 25 inch TV, but it's still nice. Definitely a pro has the built-in dash cam. Also the rear view camera. It works with Apple CarPlay and Google Auto, which is cool. So no matter what you're using, Android or Apple, you're good to go. It does connect very quickly anytime you enter the car. That connection is crispy and fast. I like that. This is a cool feature that they thought of. You can continue to charge your phone because when you plug it into the lighter there, it has the built-in USB, um, what am I thinking? The, uh, the uh, pass-through built-in. It has the pass-through built-in, and so you can still plug in your phone and charge your phone at the same time. Nice, it's very responsive. Google Maps works great. I prefer Google Maps over Apple Maps. It's just more updated. Keep that in mind if you have an Apple iPhone, the Apple Maps aren't always as updated as the Google Maps are. So that's a pro tip right there. So it's nice that it just works really well and also controlling the audio is nice too. One last thing, you can control the audio levels, the volume levels through your, say you're driving right and you've got one of the cars that has the uh, volume control on your steering wheel, you can control the volume. However, there's a little caveat to that and I'll get to that in here in the cons. And here we go, cons. You cannot change your music track from your steering wheel, which is a bummer. Because if I'm driving along and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna skip that song, boop, and listen to my Spotify or something, right? Boop, 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 go to the next song, nah, let's go to the next. I like to be able to control it right there on my steering wheel. I don't wanna have to reach over, do this, or grab my phone. We shouldn't be touching things, just control, keep your eyes on the road, safe. I still get to listen to your great music, right? So that's a bummer. But there is not a removable, like, suction style mount in order to remove the device. So if you're like leaving your car and you don't wanna just have that thing sitting on top of the dash for somebody to break into your car, and get, it's, it's kind of a pain to get out. So keep that in mind. So there's a built-in speaker into the actual unit. And what it does is it's taking some of the audio and putting it into that rather than putting all the volume and power into your car. So it drops your audio levels in your car. So if you love jamming to your music, you know, you're out there like my boy Darren, listen to the Bee Gees or some Taylor Swift or something, then you're, I'm just kidding, he doesn't listen to that. Anyhow, well, he could, a little Taylor Swift action. Anyway, um, it's gonna drop little audio levels down. It's not gonna sound as crisp and clear. Something to think about if you're on a long drive. Notice that it starts to get pretty hot in the sun. If you're in the sun and you're driving for a long time, I'm kind of worried about this thing overheating. Not like blowing up or anything like that. I think it just might glitch, shut down. I don't know. But the unit itself was getting pretty hot. We're, I was feeling it, I'm like, ooh, boy, that's getting a little warm there. So something to keep your eye on on a long road trip. So who is this for? I mean, who would need something like this? If you have an older car, like I've got an old Chevy Suburban that doesn't have a navigation system and it doesn't have the screen in there. I can't throw an Apple CarPlay on there. I've got my iPhone, but I can't use it. So this might be something perfect for me. Like, like I'm the consumer and this is why we have this, right? 
So if you don't have that navigation system or any type of screen in your car and you're looking for that, I think this might be perfect for you. That's kind of who I think this is meant for. On the flip side, if you're that audio guy, you're that music guy, and you're like, oh, I just want to hear my crispy music, this might not be the greatest option for it. Because simply, like I talked about earlier, it kind of drops the audio down, it takes away some of the speakers, and it just, it doesn't just, it just doesn't sound as good. It just doesn't, I'm sorry to say, but that's the reality of it. And lastly, overall, um, I am a little bit worried about it getting too hot and overheating and just kind of shutting down on me. It never shut down, but I, then again, I mean, I didn't take a super long road trip in the sun, so that's something else to be concerned about. Overall, I give it a four out of five, simply because I can't change the audio tracks on the speaker. If I could change the audio track, I would be more like a 4.5 out of five. We'd be getting closer to that five mark, but four out of five is still a really good score. So um, I do give it the dad's and sample approval. Boom, it's a nice item, it's great. Um, it's something that works for me, especially in my older car. It's great, right? So take a look at it. I feel like if you need something like this, you want that LC, it, it's really bright, it's really, it's beautiful. It's actually really nice. So I don't think you're gonna hate on that at all. Plus you've got the front camera, you got the back camera, you got it all. It's a really nice unit for $200. I would definitely give it the Datsun stamp of approval. If you want to see more about this item, click the link down in the description, or if you want to buy it, you can click that link too, just purchase it. Or if you want to see any other items that we have here, the lighting, the lighting up here, the cameras, the microphones, go ahead and click those links down below. They'll take you to all of those items. You guys can check out the gear that we are using. Anyhow, thank you guys so much for your support and we'll see you next time.